to cover everything that we've gone over up until this point. Our first daily momentum trade example is a daily chart. Obviously, each bar represents one full day of trading. And in this scenario, we have higher highs, right? We have higher lows. We have a rising 20. We have a rising 40. We have a comfortable space in between. That comfortable space in between those two moving averages give those moving averages a real, real track-like appearance. This, ladies and gentlemen, once again, is the picture of strength. This stock would, of course, be in our daily uptrend list. Now, because it's in our daily uptrend list doesn't make it a buy at any time we want. We must wait for one of the three pictures to emerge, right? Three bars back to the 20, four bars back to the 20, or five bars back to the 20, it doesn't matter. As you can see, buy point number one meets our criteria. We have, you know, a multi-bar move back to the 20 period moving average, all right? You can see very clearly that on the first dip, you can see where that green bar neutralized the last red bar by trading above the high. All right? Once it traded above the high of the last red bar, which is sitting right there on the rising 20 period moving average, the pristine trade momentum trader enters with a stop below the lowest low of that decline. All right? And of course, he's going to apply the combined approach of core trading and swing trading this trade. So once the stock has rallied and superseded a or gone beyond the high of the last rally, note where I'm marking off swing cell number one. So at swing cell number one, at that point, you're going to sell one half of your position. The other half is held on in the core fashion, right? And you simply wait to enter again. The next pullback, a three to five bar decline right back to the 20 period moving average gives us buy opportunity number two. We will buy as this example is, another 400 shares. So at buy point number one, we bought 400 shares. At sell point number one, we sold 200 shares. At buy point number two, we bought an additional 400 shares. That leaves us with 600. At sell point number two, I mean, once there's a multi-bar rally away from the 20 and that rally supersedes the high of the last rally, we can sell one half of our position, which is a 300 share lot at sell point number two. At buy point number three, we're buying an additional 400 shares and waiting for a rally away from the 20 period moving average that supersedes the high of the last rally. We sell one half of our shares there, which is a 350 share lot, and so forth and so on. This example of this daily chart, it's somewhat dated, but it is a real live example of a momentum trade that we played over an extended period of time. Let's take a look at another example. Here's a, a daily chart as well. Each bar represents one full day of trading. Note that all five criteria is in place. We've got a series of higher highs, very clearly defined, a series of higher lows, a rising 20, a rising 40, and a comfortable space in between that gives those moving averages a parallel bar-like appearance. This, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'll beat the dead horse once again, this is the picture of strength. This is the picture of power. This is the picture that gives us the right to risk our family's money at buying virtually every single dip that occurs as long as all five criteria are in place. Okay, at buy point number one, let's say we bought 400 shares, all right? We wait for a multi-bar rally away from the 20 period moving average and not just away, but we want that rally to also supersede the high of the last rally. Once it does so, we have the right to sell one half of our lot, that's 200 shares. Then at buy point number two, another pullback occurs back to the 20 period moving average. We can enter another 400 share lot. At sell point number two, we can sell out of that, and that's a 300 share lot we sell out of, and so forth and so on. As you can see, that over a period of several months, this particular daily chart has offered multiple buy opportunities, multiple sell opportunities, right? We've constantly gone through a process of pulling profits out of the stock to put in our pocket to take home for the family and the children. We've also remained, we've also allowed a certain portion of our trading um, size or lot to be left in the play for the possible double, for the possible triple, for the possible home run. And in every now and then, this style will help you capitalize on the grand slam. 
And that is where a stock basically travels for more than a year above its 20 period moving average for exceptionally large profitable gains. But as you can see, this is a beautiful example of how there can be many, many buy opportunities and many opportunities to pull profits out of the stock and hold on to a portion of your trade for extended periods of time, combining both a shorter term approach with a longer term approach for maximum momentum profitability. The next example, of course, is also, this is a weekly chart. Each bar represents one full week of trading in this case. We have all five criteria clearly in place, as you can see. This stock has met the criteria of having higher highs. It's got higher lows. It's got a rising 20, beautiful rising 20, beautiful rising 40, a comfortable space in between. It gives the 20 and 40 period moving averages. It's their railroad track-like appearance. Once again, a picture of strength, picture of power. It gives us the right to buy every single dip or decline that occurs, all right? We can't buy it at any moment. We must wait for the proper buy opportunity to set up. What is that? A three bar pullback, a four bar pullback, or a five bar pullback to the 20 period moving average, and a neutralization of the last bar gives us our trigger, okay? As you can see, we have the first buy opportunity occurs somewhere in April, pull back right to the rising 20 period moving average, all right? Sell somewhere once the stock rallies away from the 20 period moving average and supersedes anywhere you sell away from the 20 period moving average is acceptable. If the stock moves away from the 20 period moving average and also manages to have gone beyond the high of the last rally, the, the peak of the last rally, you can sell. It does not matter if you grab the top or you miss a few extra percentage points or a few extra dollars. It does not matter. Why? Because as a pristine trained momentum trader, remember, you are holding on to a portion of your trade. That's the lot that is going to give you the maximum profitability. So don't be concerned with trying to grab the top on the swing portion of your trade. All right? Buy point opportunity number two comes around the month of August or so. It looks as though um, a July, August in that time frame. All right, sell opportunity number two comes somewhere in the beginning of, or the latter part of August into the beginning of September, and so forth and so on, as long as all five criteria are in place. This stock remains in your weekly uptrend list, all right, and you will continue to hit it up for additional profits as long as the stock meets all five criteria and the stock is traveling along its 20 period moving average. And I have seen scenarios where stocks have done this for several years, all right? I've seen, of course, stocks rise above their 20 period moving average for months.